Let's talk about some of the common procedures and how to code for those procedures. A biceps tenodesis, if it is an open biceps tenodesis, pay attention to where the biceps tendon is being repaired. Obviously, in this procedure, the long head or shoulder tendon is being repaired. However, in other cases, this tendon could be repaired in the elbow as well as as well, so don't automatically assume you are repairing the tendon in the shoulder. In the biceps tendon in the elbow is being repaired, you will look at code 24340. For an open procedure, code 23430. For an arthroscopic procedure, code 29828 when in the shoulder. So 24340 when you're when it's open in the elbow, 23430 when it's open in the shoulder, and 29828 when it is being repaired arthroscopically. In this procedure, the physician uses an arthroscopic instrument to release the tendon, and the arthroscopic equipment is taken to the subcromial space. The tendon is then pulled into the humeral socket that has been drilled at the top of the bicipital groove. Under arthroscopic control, it is fixed using bioabsorbable interference screw. Rotator cuff repair. The physician repairs a rupture of rotator cuff. For, a, for open procedures, you may be confused as to when you should use 23410, 23412, or 23420. Part of this depends on the definition of acute. For most coding situations, acute describes an injury less than three months old. Unless your surgeon specifically documents that the patient's injury occurred less than three months from the date of surgery, you probably use 23412 in most cases. Report 23410 if the repair is done for an acute rupture of the muscle, and 23412 if chronic. 29827 is the arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. Su superior capsular reconstruction. This is something that has increased this year and is being coded more often by orthopedic surgeons. The coding of this procedure is still up in the air. This can be coded with 29999 unlisted or 29806 labral repair with a 22 increased services modifier. Patients with massive irreparable rotator cuff tears are typically met with very limited options. In the face of a large rotator cuff tear, the humeral head over time gradu will gradually drift up and out of the socket. The goal of a capsular reconstruction is to reconstruct the superior capsule with a piece of cadaver tissue, generally taken from a the small of the back, which then serves to prevent superior migration of the head. It is sewn into the top of the socket and then into the insertion of the rotator cuff and again essentially serves as a blanket or roof to help recover the humeral head. Arthroscopic Grimpliage Anterior shoulder instability is often accompanied by a Hillsack's defect on the humeral head that can contribute to recurrent instability if not addressed at the time of surgery. We describe a method of performing arthroscopic rim triage to treat engaging hill sacs lesions in patients with glenohumeral instability. Per AMA, the rim triage procedure is coded with the bank cart repair or labor repair code 29806 with a 22 modifier for increased procedural services. Arthroscopic debridement. There are two codes for an arthroscopic debridement of the shoulder. 29822 for a limited debridement when only one area or structure in the shoulder is debrided. An extensive debridement is coded when more than one structure or area is debrided, and that is coded with 29823. Arthroscopic capsularapy or labral repair. 29806 is used when the following is performed or described in an operative report. 
labor repair, bank cart repair, capsular wrap replication, capsule wrap replication, or capsule capsule tightening. Be careful not to get 29806 bank bank cart repair confused with 29807 slap repair. In 29806 bank cart labor repair, the labrum is repaired anywhere either inferior, anterior, inferior, posterior, superior, anterior, or superior, posterior. In 29807 slap repair, the labrum is repaired superiorly anterior to posterior. During arthroscopic capsular application, the surgeon uses sutures to tighten loose structures due to shoulder instability. You should report 29806 for this procedure. Another procedure that could be coded with 29806 is an, arth is an arthroscopic interval closure, and that is coded with 29806. Incision and drainage. There are two code choices for an IND. The physician drains a deep abscess or hematoma in 23030 or an infected bursa in 23031. Distal clavicle excision. A distal clavicle excision can be called a Mumford distal clavicleectomy or a distal clavicle excision. For an arthroscopic procedure, code 29824. For an open procedure, code 23120. Biceps tendinotomy. A biceps tendinotomy is when a surgeon releases the tendon but does not repair it back. This procedure is reported with a limited debridement code unless other structures were debrided as well. And then it would be reported with an extensive debridement. So for this procedure, you're picking between the two debridement codes that we went over earlier, 29822 or 29823. Subcranial decompression. This is an add-on procedure, which means it can't be reported alone, and it is exempt from a 51 modifier. Per the AMA, documentation must support that an acromioplasty was performed to bill 29826. A bursectomy alone does not meet the requirements to bill for a decompression, since no bony work was performed. The 29826 is an add-on code, which means it cannot be reported without a primary parent code. In this case, there was no other arthroscopic procedure performed. When the subcranial decompression is the only procedure performed arthroscopically, it is reported with a limited debridement code, 29822.